hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the Great Dr. Bright, with uh, my friend Hatchet, and sadly, Daryl isn't here yet. I shall be Daryl's substitute <laughs> for this stream. I will be very underwhelming compared to Daryl. Oh my god. Anyways, are we ready to start this? No, there's no Daryl here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Ah, fuck what? I. No, fuck you. <laughs> Did you get scared? <laughs> that. Oh god, I hate that. What? Startle. Oh. Fucking startled me. The, so the story is seven, uh, substantially adapted from TRPG sessions that the developer played with friends. The TRPG script was originally uh, that, uh, Miss Beheader by Mari Kuro. This adaptation has made with consent from Mari Kuro. Huh. What the fuck is TRPG? How do I know? The story, all names and characters. Text RPG, probably. Yeah, the story, all names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this work are f are fictitious. Any similarities to actual persons, living or deceased, places, buildings, or products are entirely coincidental. Tactical role playing game. A role playing game. Okay. Oh, uh, hel hello, uh, new, uh, Twitch manager XP. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Don't open your window, or else you will remove your head and make off with your lifeless body. <laughs> that seems like a lot of work. And before I Oh, hey, Red Joker. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, how's it going, Red Joker? I'm fine. Oh, this is a new character. Who should voice Lily? I could. Or I could make her Albert. Oh my god. Uh, I'm good. Stuff it in before work. Alright. Well, yeah. well, glad to see you. Yeah. It's great while. to see you. Should I just... Should I make her Albert? Didn't you all make, like, one of the characters that's gonna be in the story, Albert? I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's been forever. I got like five voices to choose from anyway. But if you don't want, if, if you just want to voice her, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should I really go to Sally's house? I heal cat. It's Daryl. <laughs> Daryl's not cat. <laughs> Heavens that made me jump is only a kitty. Oh, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, yes, I am Evil Spirit, and I say dot dot dot. <laughs> Is that a girl's head? A ghost? Oh. <laughs> I can't move. So dizzy. 
Evil spirit wants more, says dot dot dot. Hill. <laughs> Random woman. Well uh, there, evil spirit. I'd watch your back bow you. Oh, this. Oh, this lady. <laughs> We've got her attention now. Do your thing. <laughs> and some guy. <laughs> oh, rump. <laughs> he just beat the shit out of the head. The ghost. <laughs> I know this is Damn. supposed to be scary, but that was just funny. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of these, we end up making them more funny than scary at times. Yeah. Because all the stupid bullshit we pull. I'm giving this petite young anime girl character the big Russian man voice. He just turned evil spirits into jelly? Is ghoul. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who even voices this guy? I feel like you voiced this guy. Right. Yeah. Evil spirit this early in the morning. Talk about a bad omen. Oh, I, hit, I was hitting uh, E when I was supposed uh, to hit X. Uh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, whatever. I'll pick up this jellied ghost for now. Wait, wouldn't it be impossible to punch a ghost? Uh, look, he's he's got the he's got the bullshit no jitsu. Okay, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> And now you're gonna hit on me. <laughs> I thank you both for saving me. <laughs> Lily bows her head in. A oh wait, do you want to read that? <laughs> Lily bows her head in appreciation. I just did my Pokédex voice that I used from Pokémon games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did she get a heart? When I say that, I don't, I don't trust know. her. <laughs> well, you shouldn't. Do you remember these two? Right. There's a restaurant called Silversmith's just over there. We could all use a good meal to cover from that little scare. Oh my, I don't want to impose. What do you mean? Your pain, obviously. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> yeah, could see that coming. I remember these two. It gills me. I didn't expect the ref. The... I didn't expect the rest. <laughs> My train of thought got distracted by a couple things. What? There's just something popping up on the side of my screen. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect the restaurant to be open so early. God damn it, I got- I'm instinctively hitting E! <laughs> hmm. We've had nothing to be eat but a jetted ghost for days. You were eating them? <laughs> Wait, that that's just basically the exact same voice as the other guy. No, I've been given his... Uh, have I been putting him in the same voice? Kinda. I think I made his deeper. Maybe a bit deeper and a bit more casual sounding. Right, hold on. <laughs> We've had nothing to eat but jagged ghosts for days. Is that different? 
It's different enough, but it's also it also sounds like you're trying to do like a Steve Urkel. <laughs> it's perfect then. Can I do that? <laughs> you could eat the evil spirits. Well, well, why else would our exorcist do a name be Ghost Eaters? Uh, oh, I hate this so much. <laughs> Please just speak like a normal lady voice or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, here we go. In the Yoda couple. Business partners. Make him sound depressed. <laughs> and now he sounds more depressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make him depressed now. <laughs> but we're friends too, right? Uh-huh. Not that I recall. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. You're so mean. <laughs> Anyway, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is... How the fuck do I say that? Uh, Jatterine Lee. Jatterine Lee. Please call me Jay. I figure it's cute. Cuter that way. Jay. That really is sweet nickname. Damn it. <laughs> I was hitting X and Twitch chat wanted me to type in it. <laughs> what is wrong with you today? Shut up. <laughs> oh, whoa, my name is Lillian. <laughs> Are you serious? My, my name is Lillian Lily. My friends... <laughs> my... <laughs> my friends call me Lily. Who would name their child that? Well, you see, my parents, they like making, uh, what's it called when you have, like, three words in a row that's, that, that start with same letter? Hell if I know. I forget what that's called. Let me go look that up. Uh, three words. Dark thin letter. Gorgor says homophone or homonym. I don't know which <laughs> one, one though. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's alliteration. When multiple words start with same letter in a sentence, the literary device is used is called alliteration. That sounds rim and bad. Just like the finale. My thank you. Yes, a flower just asking to be plucked. Oh, that voice is like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> Please. Something left grating. And, um, what shall I call you? Bruce Lynn. You can call me Brucey. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Brucey. <laughs> like I said, Bussy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's his name now. We'll see. <laughs> oh, hello, Bussy. I like you. You look. Bussy. Sure. I don't know what else to talk about, Hell Awkward. The food won't be coming for the world. Perhaps I should look around. Go, go talk to people. Um, uh, this is okay. Listen, listen. I'm not from Japan, okay? But 
there is no way <laughs> that it is standard etiquette to, in the middle of a fucking restaurant, just get up, start wandering around, and talking to random people. There's no way that's standard etiquette. <laughs> Why is this the thing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Have you ever heard of the evil spirit, Cannibal Boy? I like how the second I talk to this lady, the music stops and all we hear is ticking. <laughs> Tick tock, I've got a bomb in my ass. <laughs> he comes every night to tap on people's windows. If you ever open the window, he eats your body and leaves just your head. Why would you leave just the head? There's so much nutrients there. I would just leave the penis. What if the person doesn't have a penis? I would still leave a penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Where did come from then? Don't worry about it. You just, like, keep a bag of <laughs> severed penises with you? What the fuck are you, King David? <laughs> Maybe. Luca <laughs> says, no, you would eat the penis first, I thought, like a lion. Nah, I'm gonna stop eating penises. I've already eaten so much that uh, I got a tummy ache. This is where I've spent a considerable amount of my life. <laughs> in this friend's room. <laughs> I've spent upwards of at least two, maybe three years <laughs> sitting in a room listening to this. <laughs> no wonder I need a therapist. <laughs> I dare you to tell your therapist what I just said. Uh, no. I will probably mention to my therapist, you know, I love Bray, but for whatever reason, the only thing that she uses as, like, quote-unquote humor 90% of the time is just the word penis. <laughs> <laughs> the one joke. Gonna break their therapist's brain. I mean, how do you know my your therapist isn't a follower? <laughs> right. Yes. My therapist. Mm hmm A. Oh, I want to say late thirties, early forties, some year old, progressive Catholic. Mm hmm is almost certainly not going to waste his time <laughs> tuning in to watch whatever the fuck you'd call this bullshit. <laughs> so, oh gee, that would be weird. Yes, that would be very weird. <laughs> but it would be funny if they just appear one time and say, hello, Hatchet. Oh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, anyways. I mean, that's the thing. I wouldn't be too bothered by it. It's not as if, like, like honestly, they would be... They, they wouldn't be gathering any new information from sitting in on these, except for maybe getting better context about the shit I say randomly. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. If the spirits are so terrible, why would the victims want to open the vent? Oh, that's it. Those. Oh, you see, because people have the survival instincts of broken lemons. Oh, look, a record. I can record things. Oh, it's saved. <laughs> Congrats. Gods, what is this sound? What? Every time you enter your fucking menu, it's just like some 
fantasy laser sound effect. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Old lady. Go. Just, just this past week, a horrible murder took place right here in our village. Something to do with with an Xbox 360. <laughs> As my neighbors, <laughs> they died. Oh my god. I, I, I swear I ain't got nothing to do with it. Oh my god. A girl was beheaded and her body was nowhere to be found. What a coincidence. Lead floating head. Well, she's the victim. Fen Fen. <laughs> old man Hackett has now become old lady Hatchet. Oh wait, Hackett. Why did I say Hatchet? Hackett. Well, because Book wrote it as Hatchet. No, they didn't write it as Hatchet. I just read it as Hatchet. Oh, no, they did They did write it as Hackett. You're just dumb. Yeah. I misread it as being Hatchet. Nope, I'm dumb. Yeah, you're just dumb. Aw, little Fen Fen. Who's my little black boy? No, I love you. I love you so much. Oh, my sweet little boy. I hear another girl's gone missing as well. I do hope the police catch whoever's responsible. <laughs> oh, a little fun thing. What the fuck is USO and why do they keep sending me fucking e emails about why I should send like over $200 to help troops? I don't know. Just ignore it. I keep deleting it, but I get like five of them a day. What the? What kind of spam bot shit did you sign up for somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> I know. That's the whole reason I came here. Oh, yeah, because cause that, like, outside area kind of looked like the home of the girl and guy characters from the last game we played. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait. No, it's not a spam bot thing. It's an actual government email <laughs> for United United Service Organization. Uh, Why the fuck are they sending emails? Oh, hello, Janet uh, Singa. How are you? Welcome to chat. <laughs> it sounded like you were eating your microphone for a second. <laughs> well, you see, my little Fen Fen is on my chest, and he sometimes decides to ram his side against my face. He's very weird. Alright, time I love for my him. perfect voice of this character. The selective service, they probably have you on their list. Well, I'll, uh, I ain't joined the military, so fuck them. No, like, what that's meaning is, like, they have you on their call list. Well, I'm not gonna... I have been getting a lot of calls easily, but, uh, uh recently, but my phone blocks them. <laughs> So, <laughs> my phone blocks the government. <laughs> That's amazing. And thank you. <laughs> Based phone, anyways. <laughs> she looks upset. I don't know. It's a tiny bit odd that two new people in chat, and when responded to, 
One of the things they say is literally the exact same thing. But, well, Janet Singh said it in Pi, and yo. Yeah, it's slightly different. Look, maybe I'm paranoid. True, but we were bought it earlier, it, apparently. That's why we do have, like, you know, no alerts for the moment. I'll probably bring yeah. them back for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that botting has me on edge. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, my little baby. You don't look well. Were you injured earlier? Not quite. It's just that time of the month. I have it pretty rough, you know what I mean. Is that a bit better? Yeah, that's better. That's awful. Oh, I see. I understand very well. I have my period. You don't? <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious what they're alluding to. You don't need to just say it immediately. <laughs> you have the fucking self-restraint of a toddler. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were saying. Right, good job, says Book. Ben, Ben. Ben, why do you slobber? Don't bite my microphone! Hedge <laughs> 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 is just having issues. <laughs> do you hear that? No. He's just gnawing on the microphone a little. Why are you like this? God, I love this chewing movie. ASMR, says Book. Oh, your breath is awful, dude. Stop. Book says, I think I heard it a little. It's good. He's also a very slobbery boy. I don't know why. When he's happy, he just slobbers on everything. Yeah. It looks like you were punching that evil spirit with your fists. But Phil. Oh, I guess there he goes. I, I don't think he likes Albert. <laughs> Bye, Fen Fen. It's kind of a superpower. I can materialize the spirits I touch. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, that may that sounds like a thing. Oh, can Jed do that as well? Oh. Can Jade do that as well? <laughs> Hers is of sort of a telepathic power, but it's much more versatile. Is it just the two of you in the ghost theaters? <laughs> That's right. But a frequent client of, of ours, Lucia, White, aka Lucy, also has superpowers. She owes us some backup if we ever need it. Oh yeah, isn't that the character from the first game? Probably. Oh, yeah. isn't that the one that has a split personality? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't remember any of these games. Slipping too terribly into the idea of fear mongering. You must be visiting from elsewhere. Welcome to Foot Footville. <laughs> All right, boys. Found out where I want to live when I die. <laughs> what? My my gravestone better be in Footville Cemetery. <laughs> Why am I being bonked? I'm not being horny. Also, uh, when you die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could be being horny. I. My feet are a thing occasionally, but not right now. I don't think. Well, now I'm thinking about feet. Fuck. 
right feet only fans. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, I help. There you go. Oh, God. But it won't be I my feet. You. It won't be my feet. It'll just be pictures of Bust's feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the Bust of Footprints yeah. being brought back again. <laughs> Gotta show them beans. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I recommend you our excellent gift set of silverware. Feel free to take a look. This restaurant also sells silver. Oh, how unusual. The founder of this restaurant is actually a silversmith by trade. That explains why the place is called Sil Silversmiths. Oh yeah. Lily, our food is here. How come you're eating so little? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Book Princess Wow and Sore made from actual silver. <laughs> That shit would have to be actually very expensive. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Does it have something to do with the girl you're thinking about right now? Oh, she's doing tele telepathy bullshit. <laughs> Watch like every time you do telepathy, everyone just sees that. <laughs> like, <wait. laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Just like a blindingly bright <laughs> flashbang light. Just like, ah, oh, yes. Now I see your inner workings, and everyone else in the place, is like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Just freaking out. <laughs> Anyone with photosensitivity issues is having a seizure. <laughs> you, you read my mind? Stay out of there. Too many kinky things. Yes, I... Though, I'm not in great shape right now. I can see her features too clearly. So can't. Oh, can't. Sorry. If you have something on your mind, why not tell us? It might help. Well, I'm worried about my... I'm worried about my best friend, Zelda Sweet. I call her Sally. Um, why does every- uh, Why does everyone have a fucking nickname all of a sudden? <laughs> That's right, it was Sally who, like, before we did the emotional blackmail thing. Oh yeah, from the game right before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he might be you know, he might be dating a very, very evil man creature person. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, kind of both. Yeah, I don't remember that game very well. Sally. And she's dating a psych, uh, a killer. Yeah. <laughs> um, is something the matter? No. Keep going. A week ago, I got Sally. I got. Sally to confide in me about her concerns. Yeah, it is her. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one he did Albert for. That that she was oh, yeah. Albert. So we just have oh, yeah, two probably. Alberts. 
Okay, that's fine. There can be two Alberts. <laughs> You're so distressed. What's going wrong? You'll see. There's this boy I'm going out with, Marty. Two friends with the same voice, that's why they're friends. <laughs> I'm giving Stanley a slightly higher pitched voice. Yup, that's him. <laughs> Sally took out her phone to show Lily a photo of Marty. What? Um, when did you meet this boy? You know, that outbreak of human infecting rabies that happened when I was in Parrot City General Hospital. Human infected rabies. You could just say rabies. <laughs> uh, wasn't it like a zombie virus? Yeah, it was, if I remember correctly. Oh god, doggos. I hear doggos. I'll be back. Okay. How's everyone doing in stream chat? That's good to hear. Just saved me. I'm free. God, my brain is tired. Oh, what the? F what the fuck was that? I click over to see the stream, and it's just like the robot guy from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. That's a Tangia thing. Well, yeah, I'd guess that. Oh yeah, the robot is saying, I'm free. <laughs> And that is Max while if we still have the stream open. Oh, I ha I have Twitch op or Twitter open. But yeah.
کرده است. Oh my Oh no. I just saw a video of there's there's some girl standing up on a ladder holding like a, a tray of paint and painting a wall and then some little shit kid marches up the stairs. Oh hey, Bright's here. All right. Hey, Bright. Yeah. I just saw a video <laughs> of uh this this lady up on a on a ladder with a tray of paint in her hand, painting the wall <laughs> with a couch nearby. Oh. And uh, there, there's this little kid uh that comes up the stairs, and you've got like that old timey spy music that's like. Like the, the old timey spy hit stuff, yeah, or James Bond hits, and the kid runs in with what <laughs> looks to be a reasonable, like like a realistically shaped Nerf gun of some kind. Fires it, <laughs> shoots the lady in the ass, and she fucking falls backwards, and all the paint hits her in the face on the couch. Oh my god. Yeah. My stream's actually gonna be shorter today than usual. It'll be at 10.30. Oh, okay. Because work called in while, uh, I'm gonna say something funny that happened a bit. So the reason dogs are barking because, um, fun, weirdly enough, at this time of day, at 7.24 p.m., uh, some people from P came to my door asking to see Busta. From PETA? Yeah. So why? I, 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 I didn't find out why, because I said, uh, do you have a permit? They said no, I and I slammed the door. <laughs> Uh, yeah, PETA's gonna do that shit where they quote-unquote liberate a dog from a loving owner. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's a fucking service dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Don't worry, Daryl's gonna infiltrate their <laughs> organization. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna send Daryl in. Yeah. Daryl's gonna... Fucking chew up all of the lead <laughs> ass of PETA. Yeah. Anyways, don't, isn't this scene lovely? Yes. Dog shouldn't be in service. Some PETA fool somewhere. Probably, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just flashing through moments from that first game, I guess. Yeah. He was one of the five of us survivors. And that's how you got into a relationship? Yes. Alright, but do you two really know each other other than at all? Actually, there's stuff about him I don't really know. The reason he was hospitalized was because he was in a car crash. It robbed him of his parents and his memory, so he's not even sure about who he is. 
Oh my, how awful. You can't blame him for that. I mean, that's true. Then, has he gotten to know you well at least? Actually, that's the problem. He knows me better than I do. Whatever do you mean? He knows the area around my home really well. Oh wait, that's not- I, I just dropped the accent. <laughs> he knows the area around my home really well, and even knows about my secrets. Fucking collect anomalies. <laughs> That's just fucking creepy. You do realize he must have been stalking you, right? I can't force you to break up with him, but you two need to have a proper talk. You're right. Let me accompany you when you do. Thanks, but it's between Marty and me. Sally. Where'd she vanish? Where did she go? <laughs> Will she really be alright? What does she mean, it's between Marty and me? I knew Sally before he ever met, even met her. I'm the one who fit. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got the gay. Oh, yeah, this is the series with the doppelgangers, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. so. Yeah. We've got the gay going on. <laughs> Hell yeah. Justice for Lily. Honestly, I don't... Well, that's the thing. I don't remember exactly what happens, because I'm pretty sure both L Marty and Lily end up killing each other at various points in that game. You mean Sally and Marty? Yeah, Sally. My brain. <laughs> like, that game was a fucking royal shit show. But amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember it being good, I just don't remember it. Yeah. Well. Now we, now we both have just rewatched <laughs> that episode. Man. Mainly to watch for. That's right, I'm used to emotional blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> and Booker says they gave us emotional blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> I know Sally before he ever met her. I'm the one who fell for her first. But how could I have known that from that day on, I would completely lose contact with Sally? And then last night... In addition to Miss Sarah Sweet's disappearance this week, there was an incident where someone headed in her hometown of Footville. We have listed her boyfriend as suspect in this case. Why are you, why are you telling some random kid this, or however old these characters are? Why are you telling them this randomly? I think the ne next thing. <laughs> oh so, yeah. Oh well, like. You don't just immediately say X person is immediately suspect. You would want to ask, like, do you know anything about this individual, that individual? Is bad, is bad. Ain't good. Yeah. Do you remember anything that might help investigation? Someone got beheaded? So, uh, what? I need to go deeper. Deeper as Elbert. Someone got beheaded? 
and Sally's boyfriend is the sub this is <laughs> Billy's boyfriend is the substance. Fuck. Billy's boyfriend is suspect? Maybe this happened because I urged Sally to have a talk with that Marty person. This cop is particularly incompetent. Well, yeah. If something happens to her, I'll never forgive myself. I stretch. Okay. Before I even realized, I was on midnight bus to Footville. But when I thought about going to Sally's house, I got intimidated. Is it really a good idea for me to search for Sally? Wouldn't it just put her in more danger? You're just running away from having to make a choice. Bro, damn. I mean, is that wrong? I mean, yeah, it was just like fucking... Very blunt. What? I'm just... I, I had a boyfriend once, but he died because of me. Oh shit, he's gay? <laughs> or bi or something. Nice. <laughs> we got queer rep in this horror story. <laughs> Yay. More queer. Oh my god! Oh, fucking hell, yeah. I forgot! Fucking forgot, yeah. And he was there murdered. Was, yeah, because <laughs> there was that cannibal boy that was that was dating the guy. I forgot about that. Oh my god, and that was like in the first one. I think that was in the second one. So everyone knows each other, yeah. All of these are very interconnected. Yeah. This shit's, this shit's a fucking weird-ass paranormal soap opera. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, if I hadn't chosen to be with him in the first place, maybe he would have not have been killed off so soon. But heaven only knows what our choices will lead to. We're only mortal. All we can do is choose what seems the best at the moment. So what feels best to you right now? To search for Sally or not? Well... Oh. It's giving us a choice to say. Oh, fancy. Don't say anything. The fatal ending. Search for I... We can immediately get this fatal ending. Yeah, like, I mean, might as well. You don't so that's your choice. Oh wait, yeah, Cannibal Boy also had the hots for the boy he ate. Yeah, I remember that. Um... Brain. Yeah. I was gonna say, I wish they had not included those brackets. The fatal ending. Yeah. Because then we could, like, have a chance to explore things better rather than just being told, hey, this is one of the endings. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. In the end, I wasn't brave enough to do anything. I just went to the town of Footville just to stand here and get mm. food. It's dark out. Please be careful going home. The police have already begun the search for Sally. I should... I should leave it to the experts. Besides, Monty could very well be the killer. Oh. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's a heckin' Marty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? The figure slowly raised his hand to reveal the kitchen knife clutched in it. Wait, that was you? Don't blame me. You should have been going up alone. The fatal ending. Psycho kill. Oh, god damn it. Killer. <laughs> well, whatever. And I got the achievement. It's, it's definitely not the worst word to say. It's just one that I think is best to avoid. Let's try that again. <laughs> fatal ending. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they did that because people complain on, on getting the endings. Yeah. But in that case, it's just like... Like, walkthroughs exist for a reason. Yeah. Like... Uh... Anyway. I... I want to find Sally and not get stabbed by a random evil thing. And that's what you should do. Thank you for your advice. It was very helpful. With great gratitude comes great repayment. A cup of hot cocoa will do. You bitch! <laughs> uh. <laughs> this fucking bitch! Oh. Excuse me? Here's your hot go go! Without a word, Brucey pushed the hot go in front of Jay. I mean, it's not a lot, yeah. He yielded it for who then? You remember I always drink this when I'm not feeling gray. Aww. Aww. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm just concerned you won't be productive. Ah, there it is. You know I like you better when you're a little frosty. Must I watch this? They're like an old lovey dovey couple. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're not bad people. Kinda. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't remember the previous games well. well At least I think. Please enjoy the rest of your meal. I should get going to Sally's house. Wait a minute. Jade stared intently at Lily. Suddenly, a human figure appeared in Lily's mind. Although there was static, the figure was most in depth definitely Sally. What? What this? Oh! And thanks for the raid, Ninji. And welcome Hello. to the stream. Thank you. Oni raid. Oh, woo. It's raid. Oh, woo. You don't have to read the whole thing. <laughs> Oni raid. Oh, woo. Oni raid. Oh, woo. I'm gonna Oni kill raid. you, Hatchet. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Oni raid. Oh, woo. Oni raid. Oh, woo. Oni raid. Oh, woo. Oni raid. Oh, woo. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> anyway, thanks for the raid. Yeah, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. One could say, the Oni raid. Ooh, woo. oh, I'm gonna kill you, Hatchet. What? <laughs> <sighs> what's this? Ooh, woo. I had the ability to share my senses with others, including the images I have in my mind. Isn't this the girl you're searching for? 
You know Sally? Marta too. We're all survivors from that hospital outbreak. Plus, a few days ago, we received a message from Sally asking for help. For help? Exactly. So how about we team up to find her? Uh, internet. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Back up. Okay. Very well. There's no time to hesitate. Job coffee. For hot chocolate. She didn't hesitate paying the check either. It can't hurt to keep her with us. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Listen, we've already established that Brucey's kind of a fucking, like, a penny pincher. Wait. Didn't, didn't they say this restaurant sells gift sets? Perhaps they'll take one along as gift for Sally's family. Don't think you're gonna need that. If you're looking to buy... Oh, wait, that's wrong, boys. If you're looking to buy a gift, how about a Nazar? It has exercising powers and only costs a thousand bucks. <laughs> you <laughs> uh, what now? Odd. I thought I had one. You sold my to the last one, silly. Please tell me they're not con artists. Lee. Kind of, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. In the end, I used my credit card to buy one of the gift sets. Alright, shall we? Oh, I forgot it has trailers in the game. See, anyways, I'm gonna go what? take care oh, of something. Yeah. Serious for me. Victim or perpetrator? Yeah. All right. See you in the Have a good night. Being good isn't going to save anyone. Discover the truth. Sleeping pills. <laughs> Three possible endings. Well, we got one of them. Oh, oh well, she's dead. But we got that one. <laughs> Why are we spoiling endings in the trailer? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> we are at Silversmiths right now. Sally's heart is in that destination. Her direction. Look here. What I find funny is one of the endings is apparently where Jade dies. <laughs> well, I mean, we just saw blood splattered on Jade. That doesn't mean Jade died. Sally's mother, huh? Yep. Ah, don't you realize how early it is? What do you want? <laughs> oh dear, please forgive us for coming here so abruptly. My name is Lillian Lily. Sally is a very dear friend of mine. The silverware gift set is a small token of apology. The expression on Sally's mother's face softened quite a bit. We heard that Sally is missing, and we're hoping to help search for her. Do you have any leads you can share with us? I promise we won't take up too much of your time. 
The police are already looking for her. There's no need for all of you to get involved. <laughs> the very heavily comp competent, the, the, the super competent police officers that just immediately said who they were looking for <laughs> as a suspect. Not best investigation skills, but whatever. I trust the police. Right. Hmm. She sounds wary. <sighs> this girl seems fine enough, but what's with the, what's the deal with the two behind her? They look so suspicious. <laughs> I seem to remember that the club salad joint was full of oddballs. Maybe they're from that club? I see. I see you as us for not introducing ourselves right away. Sally is a member of the university club we're all in. Couldn't reach her for days and got very worried. From the club! I thought that might be the case! What a coincidence! I feel horribly guilty lying to sell his mother. <laughs> but still. I. I know we can't help much, but we want to do what we can for our friend. Please let us search for Sally. Come in! You see, after my husband died, I became obsessed with my beliefs and neglected Sally. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay. She had like a bunch of culty shit around her house. Yeah. Now that I've lost her, I realize how important she was to me. I'm searching for her too, but I have no idea where she could have gone. Perhaps if you, if you three have a look around, you'll catch some clue I must the best. Oh yeah. Well, we know where the sleeping pills are. <laughs> yeah. There's something on that dresser. There's like a bunch of shit. Something in the kitchen. Some stuff in there. Let's, let's, uh, let, yeah, let's go from bottom to top. Yeah. But, um, yeah, well, I was saying like the two truths one lie, we can do that tomorrow for Garthic Phone. Yeah. yeah, I didn't send it to Bookworm. If you're interested in that, you can join us. Yeah. And, um... After we do, like, one round two years home live, we can just do a bunch of writing horror stories. Like writing spooky stories? Yeah. Got it fun, okay. It sounds fun. Yeah. But how the hell does the two truth one lie thing work? Alright, you know how you do the animation thing where you, ha you draw three times? No, I don't. That's a thing. Yeah, there is. There's a thing where everyone has like three three drawing slides. You do that, and then when it gets to reveal everything, we have to. Everyone has to choose which one's the tr the the lie, and whoever gets the most, uh, you get one point if you actually gets the lie, and whoever has the most oh, points okay. wins. Yeah. Your phone would be tomorrow, right? So I work until 10 p.m. tomorrow. But that sounds super fun. Yeah. Sounds fun. I, uh, uh, I'll start streaming like 10:30 to, uh, tomorrow. So Bookman will be able to meet, make it. Okay, so 10. So then that would be. Oh, that'd be starting around 8 for me. Yeah. Okay. A little later than normal, but so be it. Yeah, I think it would be pretty fun. Uh, it sounds interesting. Yeah, I, I saw a bunch of YouTubers doing it. I was like, I was like, uh, yeah, that's fun. 
And if we like Kirby's it, we Pirates. can do it again. Yeah. And plus, we can do a, a Halloween-y, spooky story bullshit. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to add random skeletons to every story I touch. I know at the beginning of my first story, people are gonna say, why, Bright? <laughs> That's how everyone reacts to everything you do. It's not novel. <laughs> it's just the status quo. You found it an old newspaper with an article about unusual outbreaks of rabies. This is the incident Sally said she survived with Marty. I always assumed there was more to that story. Yeah, also, book rumors, music loud or anything? Well, two of you were there as well. What exactly happened in that hospital? Billy's no longer an outsider. Why not tell her? Alright. Started with a cult to perform a mass human sacrifice. They infiltrated Paris City General Hospital and spread a substance called the Undead Extra here, there. Alright, I'll turn it down once I am able to. Undead Extract? People and creatures in the hospital turned into the undead one by one. Evil spirits, zombie dogs, and even vampires. Next, you're going to tell me there was a vampirical land shark, too. You think this I is... love land sharks. <laughs> you think this is a joke? Like some B horror flick? Bro, when you say it like that, it does sound like it. I must say, it's very difficult to believe. Until a few hours ago, you didn't believe there were evil spirits in this world either. That's true. In technical terms, we exorcists call what happened there a paranormal hazard. Paranormal hazard? Sally and Marty were trapped in the hospital at that time. Luckily for them, our client Lucy, the one I mentioned before, was also there and contacted us for help. That's what got Jade and I involved. We eventually defeated the Grand Mistress of the Cult, but by then we were the only five survivors. what actually happened. What? Alright. What a terrifying experience. And yet, Sally never told me any of that. Well, you wouldn't have believed it even if she told you. Perhaps, but still... That better book? Because I don't think I can go down anymore. <laughs> Why are you yelling? What? Talking to my Festus. Oh. Sleeping, Sleeping pills. Festus. <laughs> Sally once told me that she suffers from insomnia and has to take sleeping pills. Her uh, issues with Marty must have made that even worse. What? Alright. This kitchen knife reminds me of the time I visited Sally. <laughs> That's an odd item. Remember your friend. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Fond memories with my friends, kitchen knives for cutting up meat, and other things, such as both. <laughs> Lily, 
Uh, Lily, my brain just died. L why? Why do there have to be Lily and Sally? They're so similar, my brain breaks. <laughs> okay, Lily is the character we've been following. Yes. Okay. One time, Sally invited. Oh wait, I could just read slightly. Into it. One time, Sally invited me over to her house to bake cookies. She, she cream. That's it. <laughs> That's it. She creamed all over my face. Much fun. That's it. <laughs> She creamed the butter and sugar together while I chopped the big chocolate bar. Ouch. Did you cut your finger? <sighs> Sally took Lily's hand to check how deep the cut was. It's just tiny cut. I'm fine. Billy. I contaminate cookies with my blood. All of, a, all of a sudden, Sally slid Lily's injured finger into her mouth. Okay, I know, like, that scene in anime, manga, and all that stuff. But wouldn't that be bad because bacteria, uh, because wouldn't it be bad to stick open wounds in people's mouths? It's probably not the most advisable, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on, like, the situation for, like, initial cleaning, but you definitely want to do something more than just duck on it. <laughs> Sally? Homo romantic moment. I just started thinking, Homo like, a, a, an artery gets cut, and the first uh, thing a person thinks of is just shoves the... <laughs> Where the artery is in their mouth to stop the bleeding. <laughs> this makes me think like you have a friend who's like part like some dangerous animal. They see you're bleeding, like like just a tiny cut on your neck. Oh, let me help! And she fucking bites a chunk out of the neck instead of actually helping. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's not. A Saliva contains histi hist 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 Saliva contains stuff, you know? It helps heal wounds. I highly doubt that's true. <laughs> you know what? Let me just let me Okay. Uh uh Does Human What the no, start. Type, you fucking dick. <laughs> Does human saliva help? What did the What did she say? Heal wounds. Yeah, heal wounds. Okay, heal wounds. <laughs> saliva creates a human environment, thus improving the survival and functionality of inflammatory cells that are crucial for wound healing. In addition, saliva contains several proteins which help a role in different stages of wound healing. Wait... So it's a good thing to stick an open wound in it? It's, uh, let's see, from... Uh, HMP Global Learning Network. Uh... The antimicrobial effect of saliva is well known due to several proteins and peptides that act against bacteria to reduce the chance of infection. Sal salivary nitrate dis disassociates its nitric oxide in the saliva-treated wound and further attacks the local bacteria. So yeah, I guess... I guess that's why there's, like, such a common instinct among animals to lick their wounds. It's, like, evolutionarily, it's just actually beneficial to healing. Nice. Huh. So then, 
this uh, homoerotic scene uh, has some basis in reality. I accidentally cut my vagina. Would you give me your own? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's blood coming out of my pee pee. Come help me, sister. Booker's <laughs> gonna bonk both of us. Oh no, shit. <laughs> this is awful. Anyway. But, but you're getting my blood in your mouth. Blood, blood is filthy. And this he is the bunked gate. you first. They bonked you first, but we bonked you first. This is the gayest shit. <laughs> I don't care. It's your blood. Blood and mouth fine as long as your blood. Like, <laughs> tone it way down on the blunt statement. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> what kind of horny? That's the wrong voice. I don't know what voice that was. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of horny things do you think of? Yeah. Let me into your horny thoughts. <laughs> What kind of horny thing are you thinking of? What? what are you a telepath as well? <laughs> you just admitted! <laughs> no! No denial! Come on, girl! I don't need I to don't be a need... telepath. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I don't need to be a telepath to tell that much. I have no other friends. Sally was the only one who ever cared about me. I lost the. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Yeah! Oh right, that's me. The oil painting. Yes, portrait. I seem to recall. <laughs> I seem to recall Nia is the deity of some new religious movement. Perhaps this is the religion Sally's mother was talking about. The painting is somehow unspeakably intimidating. As far as deities go, at least you can count on this one to hear your prayers. Why not pray for help in searching for Sally? What? Then you're a believer of me. <laughs> then you're a believer of me. As well, Jade? Just like Sally's mother? Believer? Oh, I'm much more than just a believer. <sighs> Jade cast telepathy on Nia's portrait and then transferred what she heard to Lily. A language beyond human understanding instantly flowed into Lily's mind. What? What is this? A conversation between the added deities beyond this world. Jesus fucking Christ, lady! Uh, you just fucking hey hey you know it'd be fun how about we ex how about how about you know this new friend we've made like we we've known them for an hour how about i just telepathically beam cthulhu's whisperings into their head <laughs> my head it's 
going to explode. Please, no. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. I'll tear it off right away. <laughs> also, wouldn't, like, a god know, like, if, if a, a mortal was listening to their conversation? <laughs> I mean... Look, this sort of question is really hard to answer. <laughs> it depends on the deity we're talking about. It'll be funny. The... Like, uh... Like, what is the conception of deity? What's the personality of said deity? How does said deity interact with their followers? Is, like, outside magics powerful enough to poke into their little wherever the fuck the deities are? Yeah. Anyways, I, I would find it funny if um if that deity was a master of mind reading but couldn't be couldn't tell if their mind was being read. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah. Among the deities, only one is so considerate as to speak the human language. Can you hear what that deity is saying? You shall reunite this girl with the other one in my steed, Jade. Dead. But keep in mind, the reunion should be entertaining to us deities. That divine being is, yeah. Entertaining? What does that mean? We all die. It means blood! The deities want blood! Blood for the blood gods! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! Blood for the blood god! <laughs> should... Should I be worried about Jade? Is it possible she could be dangerous? Yes, both of these two are pretty dangerous people. Yeah. <laughs> no, Lily, I'm not. <laughs> oh, her face. eyes. Oh, Jesus. She looks like she's in a huge lime a lot right now. Like she's trying to hide her lime, but can't. <laughs> uh -huh. You know what I realized? By the way, I didn't go and talk to the mother, but what? Um... We're getting a, a lot of uh, flat chest re representation in this game series. Why do you always comment <laughs> on characters' chests? No, stop, stop, stop. No. Too late. Uh, I literally just told you you forgot to talk to the mother, and then you just sprint in while I'm saying stop. And click on something. Oh, well. Ah. Uh. Sally's diary. After finding a bit. Oh, that, that's Sally. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. After finding. Oh, yeah. After finding out about my three ex boyfriends, Monty's changed. I pleaded with him in vain. He burned all the photos and my old boyfriend. Photos of my old boyfriends and buried the ashes in a hole we dug on Mount Candy. Mount Candy? How? <laughs> Who <laughs> named <laughs> these areas? <laughs> Got Footville. St stinking Mount Candy House. What was the other place? Like Cat something. Can't remember. Today. He forced me to go up the mountain again to help him bury more stuff. His eyes were all intense and bloodshot. What a control freak. Oh, I get... I get... Mess... My... 
Uh, hot buckets are ready. I will be right back. All right, intermission uh, time then. I go acquire hot buckets. That this is part of diary. The uh, the uh, hot buckets in diary. Yes. <laughs> You know what I should do, Bookworm? I'm just gonna go over to Tanji and just test out the alerts to see which ones I'll keep and which I won't. So I haven't done it in a long while. Okay. Let's test this one. that one. I'm gonna play it, but we're keeping it. We're keeping this one. Just wait for it. <laughs> we're keeping that one. <laughs> So, bye. <laughs> what was that? Keeping that one. I return. Huh? We're getting rid of that one. Last one. Well, actually, two last because I want to see something. What's going on? I'm testing Tangi alerts to see which one I keep. Once again. I don't. Congratulations. Oh, okay. And gone. <laughs> Alright, this is not going away, but I want to test. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I want to see if this actually sounds good or not. This is a Are sample you? of what my voice sounds like. Oh, there it goes. I am not real. Are you real? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> oh, it's the, yeah. the fucking stupid ass announcer, dude. Yeah. I wanted to see if that sounded like good or not, and it sounded just like the show in SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're back. Ah. Why was I not informed that these pockets would be hot? You dumbass. <laughs> My lips is burned. Good job. I gotta... Give me a second. I gotta chop off this... This end. Come off. 
I'm off, you fascist twat. What the fuck? <laughs> They're not just hot, they're scalding in this is book. <laughs> a frozen on. on the inside, but no in between. <laughs> Alright. The ass and head of the pockets have been chopped. When we were digging the hole, I accidentally broke a stone monument on top of the mountain. Then suddenly a chilly blast of wind swept by. I think I broke something that should never have been broken. It made me really nervous. <laughs> Bookworm. Damn, so no more eating the pockets ass. Oh no, I'm eating the pocket's ass separately from the pocket. <laughs> but all Marty said was to not tell anyone about what happened today. <laughs> Talk about making a girl's heart pound. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Hell if I know. Very late last night, Marty came and tapped on the window of my room and asked me to open it. I got scared and hid under my comforter. I sent him a message this morning asking why he scared me like that, but he replied he hadn't come over to my come over in the first place. Oh, I know what's happening. Doppelganger stuff. Yeah. That's not Marty that made her do that. No, it might be Marty that made her do that. Like what? I was talking about the bloodshot incident. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking like it could be Marty that did that or it could be the doppelganger. We don't know because right. Marty is also pretty fucking unhinged because you remember. Yeah. Like both of these characters are serial killers. Then he said, I might have encountered the cannibal boy, and that I should ask the ghost eaters for help. Cannibal boy? I did contact them. They can't come for a few more days. We're in the middle of another case and couldn't get away. So Sally asked us for help because of... The cannibal boy. The visitor, who, the visitor who sounded like Marty, came again last night, and I asked me to open the window. I immediately messaged Marty, but he replied that he was at home. I, it was definitely Marty's voice coming from the window, though. I thought about calling the police, but I got too nervous. Wait. Why didn't Sally call the police? Because she's a serial killer. Right. Maybe Marty had something on Sally. Like scandalous photos, or possibly even worse. Jesus, Jade. Yeah, now I remember how Jade tends to act. Or perhaps Sally still loves Marty and didn't want him to get arrested. Oh, Sally. Lily is the only one I can trust right now. But if I tell her too much, I'll drag her into my mess. <laughs> too bad! And what advice did I give her? 
but she should talk to Marty. And that was it. Marty's coming to pick me up tonight and take me to his house. He said it's to protect me. Good. This is my chance to talk about our relationship. And then Sally went missing. All right, I'm gonna start the um the talk with the grandmother, but Busta wants out. All right. So I'll put it in our mission. Uh, bookworm, uh, entertain the stream. Use the power of Tangia to enlighten the streamers with weird bullshit. Oh yeah, before we go, I I already said this like. 25 subs if I get to that goal. Um, I'll get new emotes. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it'll be Daryl emotes. Perfect. Yep. Anyways, I'll be back. I'm just gonna mute while I eat. Red Emblem asked me, O oh, great and powerful Hal, what do you think of ChatGPT? I'm sorry, user, but this mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I came back to see a spinning skeleton fish. <laughs> what the? What the? What? What the fuck is that? A spinning skeleton fish. Oh. Uh, you annoy me. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't wrong. Fuck you. Perfect thing to come back to. Yeah. <laughs> It's its name is Joel, apparently. There's a mountain in the football called Candy Mount Candy House. Sally seems to go on dates there with Marty quite often.
What? The why? Text why? With the... And the text with the alert is what happened to Joel. <laughs> Mount Candy House. Why is this called to that? We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Oh my god. What is that? You don't know that? <laughs> it sounds familiar. What is it? it? It's like with the... It's like the three unicorns. Like one is like annoyed with the other two. And then eventually, at the end, I think it's like his liver gets taken. Charlie the Unicorn. Early YouTube series, yeah. Oh, man, I've never heard of that. It's... It's quite as disturbing as llamas with hats. Did you it, say it's not quite, or it, it is? It is. It's quite as disturbing uh -huh. as llamas with hats. But I like llamas with hats better. Because that was good. Oh, it's made by the same people, too. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, that does sound like their humor. Yeah. That's this. No! I'm eating! And doing voice acting. <laughs> God, I love this thing. I love you, Festus. <laughs> Alright. It's not fair, it's that! Ah, Festus! No! Get down! <laughs> Get down! Ah. Uh, I'm sitting in a recliner that I move up to my computer desk, right? And Festus has this tendency of just randomly jumping up back on, like, onto the back of the headrest. And it makes the whole thing start to fall backwards. Right. It's not very scenic, though. I don't understand why they like going there. It's to hide the bodies. Festus, stop being a grouch. What? Hey, I never told you guys this, but you, would you like to hear something funny? No. Um, Microsoft sends me a computer report from my father's computer. So it sends me a report what they're doing all the time. Oh. <laughs> like every month, it sends me a report. Hmm. And I don't know why. <laughs> That's very odd. Damn it, Festus. I'm trying to eat. I have things I'm doing. I love you, but please, fuck off. Anyway, I read this. Yeah. Oh. They... <laughs> Apparently they've been... On one well, day, spent three hours and thirty-five minutes on br br browsers, uh, brazers, or whatever the fuck it's called. Browsers. Uh, browsers. Yeah. One place. Um. <laughs> listen, they're pieces of shit, but we shouldn't be saying stuff like this online. Fair. <laughs> Did you ever object to their relationship? No! In fact, I was all for Marty renting a small house in Footville so that Sally could move in with him. Who could have known Sally would go missing before? Oh. Alright, well, there's only one last thing to go to now. Package of certain JRPG entitled Hero King Quest Peacemaker Prologue. Oh, hello. Mm. 
Oh, so Sally bought this game too. I swear, if this is if this is an actual game. I highly doubt it. Lily flipped the box over to look at the back. Oh, that's me. What's the story like? Well... There's this lady, a dark one, and a little witch who team up and a really great at vill- A really great at vill- Damn it! Fuck this! Fuck this! Stop! Oh, please! Ugh! Look at witch What? Are you gonna say I something? was gonna say, uh, but for me, yeah, that is true about an RPG game that, uh, Magic of the Evil Side is kinda cool, but I, I actually do have the game series that you can be, in, like, you take over the world. It's Overlord. Mm. And I s accidentally softlocked myself the first time playing it. Uh. <laughs> Cause you get, like, a select few minions at first. I sent them all to tackle down this house on their own, and I could no longer summon any more minions, <laughs> and I couldn't get in the house. <laughs> so, so I saw blocked myself. Good job. <laughs> I mean, being the evil side and shit is actually like a a very common thing. In a uh, hentai games, yeah. Also, in or, some... uh, oh, kind of obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, also, in some games, being evil, you get better shit than being yeah. good. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game actually exists. Me. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> uh, we're we're going to get this game at some point. I mean, it's not really a horror, is it? Well, I mean, I'm not going to play it for the horror-thon. I, I said oh, it, yeah. like, at some point, I'm going to get it. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Hatchet, go ahead. <laughs> I already forgot its damn name. Oh. And the greatest villains. You can even see them defeat some heroes. It's kind of a comedy that reverses good and evil rules. It actually functions as a prologue to the Peacemaker series. I can hardly wait for the next installment. Oh my gosh, this is literally just a fucking ad. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> I mean, okay. How much? I'm looking up to see how much it is. Thanks, book. It is ten ninety nine. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It. And the next one, Dark Lord Peacemaker, which I guess is next, hmm. is also ten ninety nine. Opening fucking Steam. English language not supported on that one though. <laughs> Rip. Let's see, what's the name of this game? Peacemaker or something? No, uh, it's the Hero King Quest Peacemaker Prologue. You see, that's the thing. I can just type in Peacemaker, and I get the whole series coming up. Oh. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What? I- I fucking- I- I got jump-scared by the fucking trailer and- and fucking- uh, oh. This thing. <laughs> then you've played this game, too. 
are all of them not English supported except for the prologue or something? Oh, there's also a game that seems to revolve around uh Nia. Oh. Let's see, the Cannibal Boy was the first game. Yeah. Queso 2, Paranormal Evil, and then there was Extra Case, My Girlfriend's Secrets. That's the last thing we played from then. Interesting. Well, I I have followed them on Steam. Yeah. What the... Wait, what did I just press? Oh, God, what the... What is going on? Ah! No! What did you do? What are you doing? What did I press? Steam! <laughs> Welcome you... to big. What? Welcome to big picture. Before you start playing, here are a couple of useful tips. <laughs> Press what? any button or tap the screen to continue. What? What the... did you do? <laughs> Access your. I. Uh, what? What is going on? Have fun. We hope you enjoy big picture. To return to desktop mode, go to menu, power, exit big picture. Where's Where's the menu? <laughs> okay, menu, uh, power, uh, 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 exit steam. Confirm. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> I went, like, if the button that activates that is literally right next to the minimize button. <laughs> this is a bullshit. <laughs> Although I'll have to I'll have to look into trying that out for like other games later. I have no idea what the benefits of big picture are. Fair. Anyway. I have. Why do you ask? Oh nothing. It's just not the kind of game I expected either of you to play. Well, any girl wants to be a bad girl sometimes. <laughs> oh see. my god. <laughs> that I understand very well. That had nothing to do with Sally. <laughs> I just walked into a room, got an ad for a different game, <laughs> and that's it. I love JRPGs. I feel like I can experience a different life through them. Yes, that is point of roleplay game. Sally was the first person I met who's into JRPGs, so that's part of why we became good friends. Once Sally comes back, I'll have to ask her about her th at at. Mm. I'll, I'll have to ask her how she liked this game. Oh, that's a definite death flag. Shut up, Bruce. <laughs> yeah. No one likes you anyway. Oh my god, we actually had to go there. <laughs> we to continue. <laughs> I believe we've investigated everything we can. There were no clues gleaned from looking at game. Let's sort through the information we have. So why do you think... Sally went missing. Could she have eloped with Marty? That's unlikely. Marty's parents both died in a car accident, and Sally's mother had no objection to their relationship. They had no reason to elope. Then do you think it had something to do with that cult? No, their grandmistress died in the paranormal hazard. Maybe Sally was out and about somewhere she could have gotten in an accident. Sally's hobbies are all indoor activities. Like baking and playing JRPGs. I doubt she would have gone anywhere like that. Then it seems clear to me that Sally disappeared either because Marty kidnapped her or because the cannibal boy. 
I have a feeling two endings are because we accused Marty of doing it, and one because of the Cannibal Boy. I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Lily! <laughs> Why is that even a question? Monty did it, obviously. We don't have definite proof! Well, you see... <laughs> uh... Uh, the, the girl's gonna... Look, the girl really likes Sally, okay? She, she can be hopeful. <laughs> The only thing I'm hoping for is that not all endings are in those brackets, like earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Brucey, do you suppose it could have been the cannibal boy? I think not. We spent quite a while in this area before, encountered evil spirits of all kinds. But even though the Cannibal Boy is so well known here, we saw no sign of him in all the time we were around. We literally you, did be <laughs> you didn't notice he was right next to the fucking Sally diner. likes playing JRPGs. And you defeated an evil if spirit like that was a severed JRPGs, lady's head. Download Coincidentally, the Hero King Peacemakers in the same town today, where the Cannibal Boy supposedly recently struck yeah. um, <laughs> also Bookworm just used the halo halo voice um to do an ad for the peacemaker game the halo voice like master chief <laughs> no um i don't know which type of halo voice also it's the halo symbol Oh, it was like the, the announcer. oh yeah, Halo announcer. Okay, layer team deathmatch by Peacemaker <laughs> betrayal <laughs> lost the lead gained the lead. I sus I suspect his assistant. Fuck. I lost the lead shut up <laughs> I suspect his, his existence is no more than an urban legend and no such evil spirit exists lost the lead every time you, you say that your phone goes off <laughs> oh you could hear that yeah <laughs> captured the flag it would be funny if your phone went off right at that moment too you have the ball. The ball has been dropped. <laughs> That's especially convincing coming from you, Brucey. Betrayal. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think we sh <laughs> I could just start reading her at the Halo announcer voice. No. Anyway. I think we should go to Marty's house right away and search for Sally. Lair. <laughs> there, now we can differentiate between Lily and Sally. We'd better not have done anything. Or wait, he, oh, lost the lead. <laughs> oh my god. He'd better not have done anything to hurt her. Or else... We just have one problem. Where's Marty's house? Oh, goddamn lag. We okay, better back. not have hurts. Sally. We'd better not have hurts Sally. So it's like, is Sally doing weed now? Lost the weed. Gained the weed. <laughs> Perhaps we can find a love letter from him there. I mean, here. Fuck. Then we'll have his address. Who writes letters by hand nowadays? I do. Betrayal. 
Jade took out her phone and sent someone a video call invitation. Girl. Oh, this must be Lil- or, like, the other girl. Yeah. That escaped with, in the paranormal hazard. What- what voice should she have? Cindy. I was literally just about to do that anyway. She looks mm -hmm. like a Cindy. Yeah. Lucy, yeah. Jade, Brucey, oh, it's been a while. Lost the lead. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the trait. <laughs> In you. The blonde hair, isn't it? Yeah, that's a part of it, yeah. Hey, Lucy. That's Lucy. What kind? <laughs> what kind of person is she? Betrayal. Let me cut straight to the chase. Do you remember Marty? The guy who survived the paranormal hazard with us. What about him? Could you please find out where he lives? Oh, come on, Jade. Do you really think I'd agree to pry into someone's privacy like that? Okay, fine. You know me too well. Just give me a day. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> uh. I knew we can count on you. Bye for now. Why must my face have hair? I don't like it. Hold on. Are you exercising evil spirits again? I can help if you need it. I've gotten a lot better at pyrokinesis. <laughs> this shit just gets dropped out of nowhere. Yeah. Now I can ignite things just by staring at them. Now I'm just imagining if so some guy is just like being too pervy with her, she just stares at his dick and sets it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, boy. Let me just give it, take a moment to assess the situation. Looks down, stares intently for five seconds, his pants catch on fire. She walks away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well... We're fine without you for now, but if we need backup, we'll let you know. God oh, damn it, fucking, bookworm. God fuck. She, she fucking looked at the chat. Damn it. <laughs> Lost the lead. Alright. I'll be waiting. Lily, you heard the deal. We'll have to go to Mari's house tomorrow. No, but we can't. We can't what? Take a deep breath and calm down. Getting all anxious won't help you find Sally. Lost lead. <laughs> You're right, of course. Perhaps we should venture up Mount Candy House, then, and see if we can find any clues. Now you're talking. Captured the flat. So listen, earlier I looked around some major occult-related internet forums for information on the cannibal boy. You're convinced he doesn't exist, though. Why bother looking him up? Can't ignore the fact that someone tapped on Sally's window in the middle of the night. If it was Marty, why would he pretend it was the cannibal boy? That's true. So what did you find? There are some mentions of the legend, but I didn't find anything useful. Nothing at all. Lots to leave. Could it be the legend of the cannibal boy is specific to this locale? 
so there's no substantial information available elsewhere. Gain the lead. You know the best place to look if you want to investigate a local legend? The library. Oh, there's multiple places we can go now. I looked it up. King of the Hill. Mount Candy House is in that direction. Slayer. And there is a library called Hill Poly Library at the border between Footville and Parrot City. Hill Poly sounds better for the mountain name than, <laughs> than Mount Candy House. Did I say hill? At this point, we should probably save. Save the game. Lost the lead. Alright, Buckworm. Uh. Library or mountain? Capture the flag. Oh my god. Which base are we going to to capture the flag? Oh wait. Mountain. I can go off the road. <laughs> off road and motherfuckers. <laughs> I can go on top of the trees. We are the trees. Weez. We. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Weez. Weez. We finally climb to the top. Slayer. What's with you? Oh dear. I forgot Jade isn't in great condition. Betrayal. I still feel miserable. But at least my powers are completely back now. Ah. Uh, I said I like you when you're frosty. Not indifferent. Do you want to experience this pain too? Because I know I can make that happen. Let's not do that. Once was more than enough. <laughs> she actually made him feel what a period feels like. Based, I guess. Yeah. So, he's had it done to him before. Game the lead. What the fuck? Someone <laughs> ah, help me! In broad daylight, their mouths must be exceptionally strong. That elderly man is in danger. Capture the flag. What are you two doing? Aren't you going to help him? Jade. Hmm? What do you want for dinner? You sack of shit. Uh... Betrayal. A steam cooked nice and rare, you? That's the- the- you said a steam, not a steak. Oh. <laughs> Lost the lead. A burger that's 70% pork and 30% lamb. I mix- I miss that texture. What burger is that? You're a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you only have fifty dollars between the two of us. So that's not gonna happen, sadly. Oh, very well. 
I'll pay for both of your dinners. You sacks of shit. <laughs> they don't work for free. Good. You're learning the right way to ask for help. Fuck you! <laughs> right, again, you gotta keep in mind, these two are basically homeless. True. They just wander around, kill things, and it's really hard for them to get fucking food. They yeah. have to eat the ghosts most of the time. They're still shit bags, but it's at least somewhat understandable. Honestly, betrayal. No. Dear, we won't make it. Attention, evil spirits. Peppy. You don't want that sneery old man. Just look at this nice, juicy little girl right over here. I don't like that. <laughs> um, Jade? Mmm, that look on your face, I love it. I'm trapped. Trail. <laughs> Good job, Jade. Now we're gonna make the target someone we can, who can pay them. <laughs> <laughs> I respectfully disagree. But now the ghosts are in punching range. Spirit exteriorize. <laughs> um, is that a ball? You have the ball. Oh my god. A spirit. It took on a human form. Let's go. That's... Peppy, get down. <laughs> Bookworm, oh, it's his boyfriend. Aw. Aw. What a... <laughs> he turned them into jelly again. I hear Doggo. Doggo lost the lead. Oh, you hear dogs. <laughs> I know we'll get dinner later, but it can't hurt to have a snack. This thing next to you, is it an evil spirit? Why is it helping you? I prey on evil spirits and assimilate them. Then I can spit them out later and make them fight for me. If this were an RPG, you would most definitely be a villain. Well... <laughs> about that. <laughs> Victory. Defeat. Is the elderly man all right? Millie, would you like to have some jelly ghosts? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Thank you. Betrayal. Thank you so much. What luck? You're a professional ex 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 exercisers, aren't you not? Not me, but these two are. Intel. You seem to know a thing or two about our profession. See this monument here? It's a 
Cenotaph. I set up with Aster Exorcist 12 years ago for the children who died of starvation. Oh, so they're Irish children. I'm sorry. I don't what? Or the Palestinian children. <laughs> that was really fucked. Yeah, we both said fucked up things. <laughs> Mine is genuinely probably worse. True. Anyway. Would you mind telling us more? But Hatchets is more recent, so f more fucked. Yeah. True. As in literally right now. <laughs> I don't want to win that competition book. <laughs> it's just that that's been on my mind. What do you think has been covering my Twitter feed? I know, but... Oh, god damn it. You... You skip my goddamn lads, you little shit! Oh, wow. There's fear and this some, some bad shit happened off in the distant past where kids were starving or some shit. Their spirits were bound to this area, and their vindictiveness grew over the decades. Finally, it reached a breaking point 13 years ago. Their vengeance consolidated into a sand into the spirit of a single boy and made him into a powerful evil spirit. Oh. Can you guess the name of the boy? Because he was abandoned as a child, he went around to people's homes every night and tapped on their windows, begging to be let in. His nightly visit drove his victims to mental exhaustion. Eventually, he got there. That's such an escalation. Yeah. Eventually, he got off their heads and ate their bodies. In just one year, he killed quite a number of people. <clears throat> Well, that sounds familiar. The fuck was that? Are you blowing on a pipe? <laughs> I'm blowing into a I'm blowing into a Pepsi bottle. Okay, I, I was wondering, it sounded like you are blowing into a pipe. But why are you doing that? I don't know. I just am. <laughs> Lost the leaf. Oh my god. You have a line. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He and the other children who honor these parts were no longer the same people they were in life. No line, only blow. <laughs> but merely vengeful spirits bound a human world by their vindictiveness. And some little shits came up here burying bodies, and they busted my here thing that was keeping them at bay, and that let the cannibal boy out. That's the plot. The master exorcist realized that this wasn't a job for the police, so he came to this mountain to perform the exorcism himself. But once the master defeated the boy, the hate and resentment shifted to the ghost of another child. When the master defeated the new one, a different child took its stead. I see what you mean. That kind of evil spirit is actually one colony. We can't beat them completely unless we destroy the twisted spirits of all the children who starved to death on this mountain. It's like some kind of box from a JRPG. You know what I'm realizing, Hatchet? You with your what? Pepsi bottle? 
You're just doing- you're just showing your B to blow skills. I have a feeling that I'm the only one who knows that reference. It sounds familiar, but I don't know. It's an old Markiplier meme. Oh yeah, I think you told me about that at some point. <laughs> when you want, hey lady, would you like to know my press, my my beat a blow skills? <laughs> you said that at one point. <laughs> Rail. Captured the flag. Master was too old to help each child move on one by one. So he had to build this stenotap to seal them away. It wasn't long after that the master passed away. But then a few days ago, someone broke the cenotaph. So that's what Sally broke. <laughs> So I'll X to down, B to blow, F to pay respects. Any other letters we can map commands onto? T to bag. Oh my god. <laughs> L to lose. W to whine. Cenotaph for children who died of starvation. Lost the lead. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> God damn it. Anyways, I will be right back. Lost the lead. Gain the lead. Bookworm, uh... Uh... Do your best to... Do something more entertaining than what had just doing. I'll be Layer. Back. Betrayal. I will also mute though.
I'm back. Bitch. Really, Buster? Put you on the bed. Is someone trying to record the live stream tonight? No. I mean, uh, someone randomly showed up earlier. Yeah, that's what I was asking. I mean, like, way, way earlier. But, like, yeah, someone randomly popped in and then immediately left. I didn't even hear them come in. Yeah, like, they, they entered and then left faster than I could even, like, say hello. Who the fuck are you? Uh, that was the guy I told you earlier that has, that has a million followers on Twitch. That's in the server. Oh. What do they do again? Uh, they... COD, I think? And they speak German, oh. mainly. Oh. I see. Putin talk. Do you know any other German words? Uh, Auf Wiedersehen. Oh yeah, Off Weir Zane is the one where you can s oh yeah, nine. Uh Off Weir Zane is the one you can supposed to say like good I believe it's good afternoon and goodbye. Yeah. So it's both. But like good afternoon is also commonly like a, yeah. a, a like a salutations. Yeah, uh uh milk milk is the milk, I believe. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds familiar. Probably because it sounds a lot like the word milk. <laughs> you know, so much German. I took German one and two, not milk Mil book. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yes, in Germany we love the milk. The only reason I I passed was I did good in multiple choice because I'm good for multiple choice questions. Can you just Wait, read drink, huh? We are drinking all of the milk. Oh my god. And, um, for my writing portion, I didn't do well on it. But you can still pass in my school if you just write, I I like drinking milk or I want to go to the bathroom. You can pass by just saying either of those two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always pick C, no bookworm. <laughs> My f one of my favorite drinks is strawberry milk for second. Oh, Later. Oh wow, there's a there's a lot of items. Library books. Let's talk to it. Hmm. Do you have any resources on legends here in the library? Betrayal. Oh. Oh, Strawberry it's... milk, is that code for an older red-headed woman? Yes. Oh. You can read for the librarian. Right? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to make double check. Depending on where you are in Canada, milk is called homo milk, depending on whether it's a whole or, or unhomogenized milk. Okay. So gay milk, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's from or human milk. It's from no, male it's... cows. No, it's man milk. <laughs> yeah, it's milk from male cows. <laughs> it's a 
cocoon on which a warrior were using. Well, <laughs> well, <tall. laughs> well, the uh, the issue with that is homo means same. If it was like human milk, it would need to be something like sapien milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. The closest shells had literature on oversea legends, and the uh, ones further in are unlikely legends. Oh, I fucking <laughs> hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the symbolic role of silver in ancient Europe. Silver turns black when exposed to some poisons, so medieval people use silver to make tableware. Oh, I actually I did not know that. I knew that one. Specifically, it was primarily used by very wealthy people. Yeah. And he also believed silver was effective against supernatural threats such as werewolves, vampires, evil spirits, and the like. You want to know? You. Oh, what one was the same? Silver bullet killing. Huh. huh. Do you want to know the origin of the silver bullets being associated with that being the thing that has to be used to kill a werewolf? Sure. So, it's, uh, what is it? I want to say late 14, or mid 1400s France. There is a, a, a plague bes b befalling France, several different places, but primarily a district or region called Jevoudan, in oh. which there are constant uh, reports of a massive wolf-like creature mauling and maiming uh, townsfolk. Ah. Uh, this, this is one of the major origins of werewolf myths, and... Uh, there were, like, three different supposed people who shot and killed it, and one of the most notable person who then had, uh, the big-ass wolf that he shot put up in, uh, a museum, uh, claimed to have shot it with bullets made of silver. There's a lot of theories about what it actually was. Almost certainly it was basically just uh, hysteria linking a whole bunch of different wolf attacks to the same creature. As well as just like some particularly big wolves. As well as the fact that some random fucking exotic zoo or circus at the time had lost a fucking spotted hyena. So there, there was a, there was a fucking spotted hyena running <laughs> around and doing hyena things in France. Nice. It also got shot. Oh. But yeah, that's that's the origin of the silver bullet stuff. Yeah. Silver is quite useful. Even an ordinary person like you can daunt an evil spirit. Just by wielding a piece of silver jewelry at it. Oh, then surely you use silver jewelry in your exorcism as well. No. But your telepathy can't inflict damage on evil spirits. Wait, was that set up? I don't think that was set up. She just assumed it. Yeah. Uh, but are you good? I'm not sure if you heard him, but he whined real, uh, real loud. Oh. Busta wants to be the beast of Jevodon. Busta, come on. Come here. Oh yeah, I forgot. It. Uh, in terms of like, uh, deaths attributed to the beast of Jevodon, it was like something like a hundred fifty some people supposedly were killed by it. Oh yeah, Adurna's here. Yeah. Hey, Adurna. Come here, Busta. Come here. Come here. Come here, Busta. That's a sad trombone for the people who got killed by the werewolf. Busta, come on. <laughs> Busta's not moving from that door. Emotional damage! 
Slayer. Lost the lead. We're not leaving the bedroom, you little shit. He's not little. Okay, you're the nice comfy bed. Mm -hmm. I won't be long. I just got another hour. He's probably bigger than the guy in this book. Fast enough. <laughs> Good trail. <laughs> Lost the lead. Gain the lead. You have the ball. <laughs> Drop the ball. I'm back. Capture the flag. What the dog doing? <laughs> he say it. Bright. Can you confirm whether or not Busta is larger than you? I, I am con confirmed Busta is smaller. <laughs> You That's are smaller so than Busta. Fuck you. Right, you do know that the... Right? You, you confirming it means that would mean that it's true. I said Busta's smaller, smaller than me. me. God damn it. You I have, you, you'd have to die. Shut the fuck up. Anyway. I have my own tactics and besides. God damn it, I actually hit... Actually... Yeah. Anyways, hatch it. Tiny devil confirmed. Shut the Lost fuck up. Lost the lead. What? If we had the money to buy silver jewelry, we wouldn't be stabbing out of town. I almost forgot that they were eating evil spirits to satisfy their hunger. Trail. Okay, well, so we got that. The evil eye in Turkey, the Mediterranean region, and other traditions. The ancients believed a witch or evil spirits with malice could cast a curse with just a, a look to weaken or kill a person. This morning, I couldn't move and felt dizzy when that ghostly head of the girl glared at me. Was that because of the evil eye? I think, also, interestingly enough, yeah. You, you, you wear the evil eye to, to yeah. like, defend yourself. To resist the evil eye, you must fight fire with fire. An evil eye for an evil eye. And the czar, which Im imitates the evil eye, was thought to be effective. In the Mediterranean region, during the first century, the middle finger was another way of repelling the evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, is that actually where the middle finger, like, being used on people comes from? I guess oh so. My god. How did it turn from, uh, be gone evil to, hey, fuck you? <laughs> I guess be gone oh, evil, okay, like, I, I guess they have similar sentiments. No, yeah, very similar sentiments. Uh, Nazar, what's th wasn't that what you tried to sell me this morning? I didn't realize it was an actual thing. Deep down, you're still wondering if we're con artists, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Betrayal. Lost the lead. The Hill Poly Serial Murders won. Oh, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> Whoops. Capture the flag. 
It has been 13 years since Footville and Parrot City, collectively known as Hill Polly, first experienced horrors at the hands of a serial killer. The killer decapitated the victims and left only their heads behind. Eerily, all the victims had mentioned before their deaths that a boy had come to tap on their window in the middle of the night. This sounds exactly like the legend of the cannibal boy. Don't tell me he actually exists. Oddly enough, there was no consistency in the victim's descriptions of the middle midnight intruder. One even said he had encountered a young girl. The killings continued regularly for a year when they stopped abruptly. Buster, get away from the doc Dr. Pepper. You can't drink Fan that. Fan theory. Fan theory. What if the cannibal boy was at some point also Lele? Who? Ashley Lele from the other game. Oh. You right? fucking imbecile. Right? Your memory is shit. Yeah, I've already told you why it's shit, and you fucking know it. Yes, and we'll still keep bringing it up. Just like how we mock how you say axe. We it's, love you. I mean, it's fine. I'll just most likely develop early onset dementia. He'll be fine. Anyways, let's continue. Wait, don't you mean how she says ask? Oh, fuck yes. off. Yes. <laughs> hey, right. Halo announcer voice wants to ask you a question. I'm gonna end you. <laughs> Player. <laughs> Read your damn lie. Betrayal. Okay. Oh, a lot of the sites I found on the middle finger referred to its history as a phallic reference. Oh, I could also see that. You defeat the evil eye with penises! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you just whip it out in front of the witch, I don't think they will stare at your face. They'll, they'll be like, what the fuck? Um, they either be like, what the fuck, or they'll just be like, ew, why? I mean, honestly, at that point, you might as, like, honestly, at that point, you kind of deserve to get cursed. Yeah. <laughs> or worse. But it would be something I would sure they do. they would do worse than to you right then. I am pretty sure they would do worse to you then. Sexual harassment is not a game. Especially not yeah. when harassing witches. Anyway, his... Yeah. Had you go ahead and read your line. <laughs> or maybe whipping out your penis is what caused the witch to evil eye you in the first place. Uh, why did the victims have such different accounts of what the boy looked like? Doppelganger theory. The Hill Polly serial murders too. Why? Why? Why the fuck is this second part of this series on two, like, a fucking two shelves over? Who organized this library? People who come into the library and somebody, are stupid. Somebody who's somebody who's never worked in a library before, and so you know that isn't me. Yeah. yeah. Two years. Oh, that, oh. Uh, that that's just upsetting to me. It's like how like uh if if you ever uh go throughout the big library in uh the College of Winterhold in Skyrim mm -hmm. and you use console commands to unlock the uh bookshelves, if I remember correctly, a lot of the bookshelves just have like repeat random copies of different uh, books from different series throughout the game's possible books, and you'll like look in one shelf and and like uh, the Wolf Queen Volume Four, and then look on a shelf in the opposite end of the library, and it's the Wolf Queen Volume Two. 
Okay. Yeah. They they didn't actually okay. program consistency in that. Oh yeah. I know. But yeah. Anyway. No no, the, the thing I'm saying about the oh. fuck too is there was a there's a uh, there's some like um comic strips mm -hmm. on Twitter. Ah. Uh. That say non bony. No to all boners. Oh. What? It's apparently by like a fascist, but oh well. Wow. It's just so funny to me. It's just like, what the fuck? This is very under its woke force. Okay, Bookworm says. So I found something about the fig sign from Wikipedia. <laughs> the fig sign is a mildly obscene gesture that uses a thumb wedged in between two fingers. The gesture is most commonly used to ward off the evil eye. So they just didn't properly describe the fig sign in that book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay, to be fair, it is it was probably the programmers so they well, probably yeah. so like prob they probably took that picture whatever or, what, or some uh a picture of it and weren't didn't see look at it very clearly so yeah so they didn't see that it was um they didn't see that like they didn't see how the fingers were overlaid or whatever yeah. But anyway. Let's continue. Yeah. Uh, sp uh, before I do, before I do, do um, I remember in one library that I had that they got rid of One Piece because it was provocative. But in the children's section, when I was looking at uh, manga that was in there, I saw a high school mm -hmm. DXD. What the f Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I, know, hmm. I know that I know that one piece is provocative. I've seen like clips from it, but hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. hmm. Moving on. <laughs> Betrayal. Two years went by without incident, but another string of decapitated victims terrorized Hill Polly once again starting a decade ago. The victims were decapitated as, bef as before with their limbs and torso missing, but this time evidence suggested that the neck was severed using teeth, leaving the police to suspect the killer to be a cannibalistic. Be a cannibalistic. <laughs> Shut up lost the lead. Investigators speculated that the killer didn't eat the head because of the high level of prions in the brain which can de cause degenerative brain disorders when ingested. I remember. Wait, wait right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like look that up so we can like learn something. Meh. Okay. okay. I did good. I, rem um, I remember these killings very well. We were freshmen at Parents City University then. You both went to a university in this area? We did. The murders continued intermediately for eight years, with a frequency of about two incidents a year. But then two years ago, the killer suddenly... Ryan. Okay. What? It's, it's pronounced pri- It's pronounced prions. Prions. Okay. The, so, the, you're correct. I, I was correct? Oh, sweet. Yeah, you were correct and your pronunciation is pronounced prions. Yeah! <laughs> pronouns? Prions. Prions. Pronouns. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Crayons? 
Oh, my engine. <laughs> the killer suddenly stopped killing again. You know what? That, that's what I'm gonna call my pronouns from now on. <laughs> Prayon. Oh, yeah, it's back to this hatchet. Oh, what voice did I give this guy? Uh, his voice can oh, change. If you haven't already used it, I mean. What? Oh, I said, if you haven't already used it, give him Russian. Oh, we, we already have Russian voices. Oh, yeah, we, we, yeah. In addition to Miss Sarah Sweet's disappearance this week, there was an incident where someone got beheaded in her hometown of Footville. You, you, better. you forgot the you forgot the oink. Oink. <laughs> and now, two years later, the killer is back. It robbed him of his parents and his memory. So he's not even sure about who he is. If Marty doesn't remember his past... Betrayal. The Hill Poly Serial Murders 3. Again? Why? <laughs> it's just the third volume. On a shelf. Two shelves down. Yeah. Anyway, the general. I want oh. to punch that librarian. <laughs> the general assumption is that the same person committed all of the murders over the entire eleven-year period, but some have pointed out that the second string of murders may have been a copycat crime. First, the frequency of the murders differed significantly. Second, the first round of killings, the heads were severed with. An unusually clean cut as if sliced off with a very sharp blade and there were no bite marks however the police have not been able to investigate this possibility due to a lack of suspects what could anyone hope to gain from copying such a gruesome modus operandi yes why would anyone do that Brucey? How would I know? Maybe to pin the blame on the first killer? Hill Polly Daily One girl missing, another decapitated. Is the Hill Polly serial killer at it again after a two year hiatus? Um. It's Sally. The traitor. This other girl is the ghostly head I saw, so she really was the victim. May her soul rest in peace. Only one left. Oh yeah, and by the way, Adarna, you, you would have missed it, but it's pretty clearly established that Lily and Sally, well, at the very least, Lily has the hots for Sally. We have no idea Sally's opinions on Lily. On Lily. Yeah, though 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 Sally is in a relationship with a serial Lily. killer, so. Well, aren't, aren't they both? <laughs> oh yeah, they're both serial killers. But <laughs> I guess that detail is kind of important to mention. Yeah. <laughs> this series is basically nothing but serial killers. By the end of this, 100%, Lily's probably gonna kill like five people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Without right help. <laughs> the Legend of Mount Candy House. Oh yeah, and there's a mountain called Mount Candy House. There is a giant rock on top of the mountain that resembles a house made of candy. Hence the name. Footville is is so named for being at the foot of the mountain. Long, long ago, the village was said to have suffered from a great famine that lasted three years. 
The villagers were forced to slaughter their own, their work animals, and eat grain reserved for planting the following year. Ultimately, they took their children up the mountain and abandoned them in order to survive. Why not just kill the children and eat them? Right? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We ain't fucking orangutans. <laughs> or actually, there's a lot of species that do that. But listen, listen. Humans mm -hmm. have this tendency to, at all costs, not want to eat their children. So many children were abandoned that before long... Everything edible on the mountain had been consumed. Many children starved to death, and those left alive had to make the terrible choice of consuming the others' corpses. The children left the heads intact as a way to mourn the dead properly, but it was all in vain for every last one starved to death in the end. You know what would be really tormented if they put the heads on stakes? Why would... <laughs> Why? Why would you just randomly <laughs> bring them up? <laughs> and why uh, would they do that? Like you know the cro the wooden cross stakes. That's all I was I was thinking. Yes, we we know. We know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's just why it's not that sort of situation. Ever since, it is said that Footville and a neighboring parent city are haunted by the vengeful spirits of the children. Lost the lead. Then these children who had to eat human flesh became evil spirits. And that's literally everything here. Oddball. Team Deathmatch. Yeah, that's the exact same shit. Capture the flag. Well, they're all gray, which means we read it all. King of the Hill. Ah. Let's summarize what we know. Ages ago in Hill Polly, a bunch of children were abandoned and left for dead. After they died, their thirst for vengeance got concentrated in the spirit of one boy. Be the boy beheaded lots of people and ate their bodies. That was 13 years ago. Ultimately, an exorcist sealed the boy away using that cenotaph we saw on the mountain. The boy is most definitely the cannibal boy. Then a few days ago... Marty went to bury Sally's past boyfriend's things on the mountain. He forced Sally to accompany him, and Sally ended up breaking the cenotaph. After that, something resembling Marty started coming to Sally's house in the middle of the night to tap on the window, just like the cannibal boy. And Marty insisted that it wasn't him. And Sally visited Marty's house and disappeared. Plus, there was a murder this week where the victim was decapitated and her body went missing. So what on earth could have happened? This is all very confusing. Could it be that Marty is copying the cannibal boy? All the victims had different descriptions of the cannibal boy before they died. Why? Well, isn't an evil spirit capable of manipulating different people by possessing them? Why do I have all of this fucking information? Where did I get it? Perhaps that happened to Marty. Hmm. Now that's an interesting hypothesis. 
We don't have any decisive information yet. I wouldn't jump to conclusions. Lily. For now, let's eat some dinner to recuperate. Lost the lead. Save the game. Well, we definitely have to go to the shrine and the hospital, and whatever the fuck those other two places are at some point. What? Like, up here. And oh, okay, over here. And wherever the fuck these two places are. Oh, we don't know. We'll have to go there. Or this place. That looks like a prison. I can also see it looking like a castle. Kinda. Yeah. Watch Mori actually be in the prison. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Marty's just eating people in the prison. Yes. Maybe buy another another silver set to protect yourself. Mmm. Steak, really it. Is best cooked rare. You're not eating again. I really don't mind treating the both of you to dinner. But when evil spirits were attacking that old man, shouldn't you have prioritized saving him? You're professional exorcist, after all. Blood money. That's exactly why we expect compensation for our services. If you're good at something, you never do it for free. But a person's life is priceless. It only costs you a meal to save that priceless life. I doubt you'll ever find a better deal. That is not what I mean. Lily, you're a good person. But being good isn't going to save anyone. Not even yourself. He is talking from experience. It was reckless of you to rush over to help that old man like an idiot. If we haven't been there, two fools would have died on that mountain today. Oh, don't be so harsh, Boozy. As fools as she was, Lily was the perfect decoy. That old man would have died otherwise. And what you said isn't harsh. That was quite reckless of me. Oh wow. Lost the lead. Oh. We only have 30 minutes left. Five minutes remaining. I don't know why, but when I look at the back of the character's head, like the female main character. I get the impression of a bald old man. I was thinking of an ice cream cone. <laughs> I can't unsee it. I don't like you. <laughs> you can't unsee it now. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking of ice cream. <laughs> Betrayal. Anyway, we might end up... You might be up against the ever unpredictable cannibal boy. Be aware of your surroundings. I'll try my best. Oddball. What the fuck? I can't even protect myself. I'm dragging everyone else down. 
Maybe I should go purchase some fucking silverware. There's no need to feel inferior. Why did I say inferior like that? Racism. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Capture the flag. <laughs> what the fuck? Jade? It is not possible to properly do a questioning tone in the Halo announcer voice. <laughs> Your determination to find Sally will surely bear fruit. I do hope so. But what kind of fruit I get to decide? You're a bitch. <laughs> We have to go to Mari's house tomorrow. Let's call it an early night. Apparently there's a place to stay nearby called Foothill B&B. It costs $100 a night for a twin room with breakfast. Lily, can you split a room with Jade? Certainly. But what about you, Brucie? I can sleep by the roadside. Um. If you don't mind me offering, why don't I lend you the money? That won't be necessary. What? I got you to pay for two of our meals because you owe owed us twice. But now, that account is settled, so I can't take anything from you. Not even if it's a loan. But... Don't mind him. He's stubborn about his own principles. And that's why we're always broke. <laughs> or maybe you would rather sleep with Brucey than with me. No, no, not at all. Then it's settled. Oh, don't worry. I'll be very gentle tonight. Wait, what? Lesbian. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to the register and buy another cutlery set. There's a silver table knife in there. Well, uh, what am I? An evil spirit? Also, how much money does the main character have? <laughs> I have big allowance from my father. <laughs> the oil baron. Oh my god. Oh my god, for tomorrow for the Gartic, uh, the Gartic phone, there has to be a horror story about the oil baron. Oh yeah, Derna, did you hear what tomorrow is? <laughs> Uh, if I'm there, I'm gonna be, like, probably, like, two hours late, at least. It starts at 10.30 p.m. Which is 8 my time. So uh, probably... Yeah. Probably, possibly one hour late, then, I guess. Well, then Not you'll sure. probably be there for the horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got a bookworm coming in at that time. Yeah. Me and Bright and Jerry, and then yeah, Jerry's gonna be around. So we'll have four. Be, <laughs> we'll have four. That'll be enough. And then once you arrive, we shall do many horror stories. I will intrusively add random fictional monsters into every story I touch. You will be able to tell that it is my addition to a story when there's just a line that's something like and then the skeleton appears <laughs> <laughs> oh my god anyway hatchet your line i'm a lesbian <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay question i would love so, for that to be put in an actual halo game where the now yeah, there okay. just says i'm a lesbian well, Quote that quote. They could oh, put it trans right into a Halo game. Yeah. Because he has said that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It, 
Oh yeah, trying to think. Isn't the uh, the voice actor for Master Chief on uh oh what is it called? Oh, well, that no, the, celebrity the, thing the, where you can ask people to say shit. The voice announcer like said trans cameo. Right from, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Although technically I wasn't doing Master Chief, I was doing the announcer yeah, which well, is no, the, the, the announcer was the one who said trans rights oh the announcer said trans rights yeah the, the announcer said trans rights so you oh, could literally say sweet. trans rights in his announcer voice and be correct trans rights <laughs> I purchased the knife let us Get going to our lodgings. Okay, that that girl means business. Better Let's watch see out him. so you don't get stabbed. Yuri. Also, um, who who are lodging? Um, who, um. Brucey doesn't have a lodging, so it will just be them two going into the lodging. We're going to lodging, and Brucey has the lodging known as that hostile architecture bench outside. <laughs> After bidding Brucey goodnight, we settled into the B&B. &B. Where we took turns scouring and went to bed early. Having trouble sleeping? Betrayal. I'm not used to staying overnight. Haven't you ever gone on trips with friends? I don't have friends. <laughs> I've always been shy. Sally is my first friend, and I didn't meet her until college. Jesus fucking Christ, my life is a lonely one. And how did you get to know her? Sex. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Yes, you do. <laughs> You don't- you have no right to say anything like that. Penis. Exactly. <laughs> we were doing a group project together in a freshman biology course. One day, a blood mobile. What? A blood mobile. Oh, blood mobile. <laughs> Blood mobile. It's it's just like one of those things to put above your kid's nursery, except it's just a bunch of IV bags. Yeah. <laughs> Do that for a vampire baby. Oh my gosh! If we ever when we go back to playing Borderlands, we use the red car. We call it the Blood Mobile. <laughs> yeah. All right. One day, a bloodmobile came to campus. I went to donate blood and happened to run into Sally. So we chatted for a bit. As much as, blood. I, would, as, much as I would love to donate blood, I just have mental trauma with needles. From doctors. Rip. Solid. Also, I was... I was checking to see if I was un too underweight to 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 um donate blood. Yeah. S sadly, I'm not too I'm not too underweight, so I could. Oh, did I ever tell you guys why about it? Mm, it sounds familiar. I don't think so. Okay, so it doesn't know. Yeah, when I was really okay. young, probably around seven. I believe. If I remember correctly. It was a while ago. But, um, this doctor, instead of putting, like, the needle in slowly like you're supposed to, 
Um, oh, they, God. They jammed it into me like five times and then injected me with it. Wait, like, is this like... Like, what kind... Like, what was actually being done? I was supposed to get, like, a flu shot. Why would... That's just... Why? I don't That's know. That's just medical malpractice. Yeah, they, they yelled <laughs> at me when I, when I told them it hurt. It's... That really is medical malpractice. Jeez. They were telling me to stay still. I wasn't moving the first time they jabbed it in me. But after that, I was like, fuck you, get the fuck off me. Ah. Uh. I had several band-aids. But now I can't. I can look at, like, sewing needles just fine or any other needle. It's just, it, the second I, I see a, a shot. It's just yeah, no like hypodermic. Yeah, that uh, fucking oh man. Well, how'd you get be... your uh, how do you get your vaccine shots done? Oh, um, I went, but I refused to look at the doctor <laughs> or the shot. I just turned away. As long as I don't oh. see it happen, <laughs> I'm fine. It's just that it looks weird because I'm looking far away. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. Doctors, like, like, fucking fear of needles is one of the most common things a lot of doctors have to deal yeah. with. Yeah. So I'm sure that, like, if they were at all reasonable. Mm -hmm. Right? To so, say, you know, I have, a, I also have a fear of needles. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're not alone. Famous YouTuber, not the clerk. For, like, justi not, not, not for justified reasons like you have, but... <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I, ha I have a phobia. You have justified reasons. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, what Bright deals with here would be called a phobia, because, like, like, it's trauma that caused it, but, like, it's still, like, fundamentally a fear that's not particularly rational oh, yeah. because the average person like like it, it's obs like it's actually absurd that that even happened at all yeah. like it's very rare <laughs> but like it's an understandable source for said uh phobia we need to well Actually, it depends. My brain. But yeah, anyway, you are also sh you also share something with uh, a famous Swedish YouTuber, The Click. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> who, who famously like, couldn't actually play through much of anything in Mortuary Assistant or in Mortuary Assistant because it was all of his phobias combined and he at one point almost passed out on stream. Oh god. Anyway. But yeah, anyway, I guess I guess more of the story is uh kids, if you want to uh go into a profession where you get to stab kids with needles randomly, uh, <laughs> become a doctor. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways. When I was young, there were no hypodermic needles. They just stuck you with some sewing needles. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Another thing that I'll never do, eh? that was also a bad thing from Doctor, is when they first came up with those like no sprays that the due to vaccine, mm -hmm. it immediately gave me the swine flu. It didn't uh. prevent me from getting it. I immediately got it. Yeah, that just sounds like a faulty immune system thing there. Well, I wasn't the only one. Like in my state, like when they first tested it out, like. I think it was like uh, 35% of people got infected with it. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh. it was. It, it it's not really much done in my state anymore. <laughs> it's... Wait, so, so I guess they might have given you faulty vaccines or something. Yeah, oh, that's what I was thinking. It sounds like a big chunk of faulty vaccines where the virus wasn't properly dead before put into the stuff. But anyway. Yeah. What? Well, you have B negative type blood too? If I ever need a transfusion, I hope I can count on you. Blood. Well, I certainly hope that won't ever be necessary. I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. <laughs> Slayer. What kind of things do you do in your free time? <laughs> I like to play Halo Infinite Online Mo- Oh, God. No way. Which ones have you played? These two just kind of look like some lesbian couples I've seen, too. We've got a cottage core and a lazy... <laughs> and, like, lazy uh, pajamas lesbian. <laughs> we talked about all kinds of JRPGs from AAA to indie game. What's the... I... When you say AAA, it makes me think of the fucking company, not... What games are those? I don't know where it came from, but AAA games are like the really big budgeted ones that are put out by the biggest producers of video games. Oh, uh, like from EA or like Activision Blizzard or something like that? Stuff like that, yeah, I believe. Oh, I could okay. go search and see what it actually means real quick. We could. Yeah, go ahead. What? Does triple A game? Well, no, no, it's not not that triple A. The first thing that came up was American Automobile Association. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> games mean triple A games mean. In the video game industry, AAA is an informational classification used to classify video games produced and distributed by a mid-sized or major publisher, which typically have higher development and marketing budgets than other tiers of game. Yeah. So yeah, it's just stuff that's made from by bigger people. One of the first things asked is, is GTA 5? A triple A game. As one of the most expensive games ever made, working on worked on by hundreds of people. Yes, GTA 5 is a triple A game. Yeah, any anyways, uh Aderna, there's something I wanted to tell you. What? Would you like to see Daryl? Okay. <sighs> Gang the lead. I gotta ask, how convincing is that voice? That's pretty good. It's a good voice. Yeah, it's like, pretty good. Like, compared to, like, the proper one. Yeah. They did Daryl perfectly, Aderna. As you can see in that reactive image that, that I'm gonna use when I get my model. Cute. Little yeah. chibi Daryl. Yeah, chibi Daryl. We no, you cannot not love Daryl now. Oh, fucking lag. Discord lag. That's cute. Jerry is playing a hundred percent orange juice. It, to me, it just says gay harem lord. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because I'm streaming. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, yeah. after that, we. Oh, what the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you, Bookworm. I appreciate it. Bunch of subs, hell yeah. 
Shout out to the billionaire known as Bookworm. Capture the flag. <laughs> wanted to have the number hit 10, lol. 15 more and I'll get Daryl emotes. I have depression. <laughs> <laughs> another clippable moment. Yeah. My father left when I was two. Oh, God. After that, we started chatting all the time and became best friends. Lesbians. She also introduced me to her club and encouraged me to meet more people. Sally turned my life around. I wonder what kind of club it was. Sally's mother thought it was full of oddballs. I see. Well, common entrance. Entrance? <laughs> That's a common entrance. <sighs> I see. Well, common interests are great for shaping friendships. Right. Actually, to me, Sally is much more than just a friend. I know. I can read your mind, remember? I didn't have the courage to tell her because I was scared of ruining our friendship. I thought as Girl. long as her. <laughs> you broke catch with that. I'm doing the big serious voice. <laughs> and it's just in the background. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, these bitches gay. Good for them. So <laughs> True. Well, at least this bitch yeah. gay. Well, I... from from what it sounded like, the 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 girl. Oh, uh, 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 wait, right across from her might also be gay. Yeah. Also, probably once Poor we guy. get through this stream, will end because it's ten twenty four. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are <laughs> you okay, Halo? Announced there's a clip Bookworm sent me. <laughs> did did Bookworm get the lesbian one? I don't I'm guessing know. not. <laughs> no, I... no, no, the thing he need he needs to get the gay one. Yeah. Where you're doing the Halo announcer and I just say they said uh, Bookworm said no. Gay. Damn. Where... Anyways. Yeah, because I I feel like that's that actually one... genuinely. I, I feel like the lesbian one was genuinely one of the best gags I did tonight. Right. Just like, just complete silence for a second. And then it's just lesbian. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and finish your line. I thought as long as her boyfriend made her happy, that was fine. Lost the lead. But... Marty failed to protect her. Dropped the flag. Oh my. I'm sorry. I've just been talking about myself this whole time. It's not about you anymore, Lily. Say you have another friend here right by your side. I don't like you. You're not the bear all this by yourself. We can rescue Sally together. Jake. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Bookworm got gay. Gay. <laughs> oh man, but we can be brutal now too. <laughs> yeah. Actually. I'm not really sure I can think of you as a friend. Hey, what? 
That's very sweet of you, but I'm very sorry. Betrayal. Jeez, don't apologize. Oh, fine. I was never fit to make friends anyway. More of a girlfriend, right, Lily? God damn it, but I'm, po I'm polyamorous. Get in the polycule. You're a believer of Nya. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. You're a believer of Nya. Though, don't you have friends of the same faith? Question mark. Like I said, I'm not a believer. I simply had the ability to hear the conversation between the deities outside the world ever since I was a child. So I get to live a life of thrill and apprehension. Thrill and apprehension. Because the deities are always watching us from above. A little like that, but not quite. Again, it is physically impossible to do the Halo announcer voice in a questioning tone. <laughs> Let me use a JRPG analogy to help you understand. Oh, dang. Long, long ago, there was a princess. Her beauty was such that the Dark Lord coveted her and captured her for his own. Oh, for the love of God, this is just- this is just an- This is just another extended, uh, advertisement for another one of the games from this dev team. <laughs> In order to save her, Brave here set out on a quest with the- with a priestess as her companion. I went through a lot of adventures, and at long last, managed to defeat the Dark Lord. So what do you think happens after that? Doesn't the hero and the princess live happily ever after? After? Oh, no, no, no. What happens is that the player shuts down that JRPG because the fun is over. I thought you meant that would ha what would happen to the characters. Betrayal. But that is what would happen to the characters. The world would be shut down, wouldn't it? Um, I suppose. The priestess alone realized that this would happen, and that and she became determined to make the world as fun as it could possibly be. To be honest, I was too sleepy to really understand what Jade meant. Maybe. I tried to keep listening, but at some point, I drifted off to sleep, like a weekly. Okay, there we go. Save point. It's exactly 10.30, funnily enough. <laughs> Actually, it's 8.30. Oh, fuck off. Anyways, uh, Bookworm, last words go. Who, Hatch? Exactly. It's two versus one. Democracy. I'm an American. I only like democratically elected fascism. Bookworm says it's 10.30, two versus two. <laughs> Just like a team deathmatch. Yeah. Gained the lead. Lost the lead. 
Ottawa. Yeah. Uh, and after everyone says the last words, I'm gonna raid someone I collabed with. Fuck. So, uh, book comes last words. We're waiting. Lesbians. I'm still hoping that it that not all the endings are obvious like the first one. Yeah. Lost the lead. Gained the lead. I'm trying to listen to my voice in the dream. So, uh, Aderna, I have a question for you. Every time... Every fucking time the sound comes up to where I can hear it in the stream, you start talking. <laughs> Lost the lead. Ain't the lead. Adara, I have a question yeah, to fine. ask. Hmm? Yes, what was the question? Would you like to join the cult of Daryl? <laughs> uh what? Why? <laughs> Why? Daryl is love. Daryl is life. Yeah. <laughs> no no, why why are you asking my question? Well, we just need an answer. <laughs> um Like, comment, subscribe, oh and follow <laughs> Bright for more GAY content and lesbians. Give her money if you can to support this type of content. <laughs> Alright, a turn of last words go. Um. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I guess I can add another cult to my resume. Um, so I'll join. So now I have the cult of Momo and that cult, and then also the Church of the Broken Toast. So, uh, Darna's gonna join the cult of Daryl? I guess? What about. Yeah. Book says, and the Church of Chu. <laughs> the Church of Chew. Oh, yeah, and all, oh, yeah, yeah, the Church of the Chew. Uh, the Chew Church. The Chew Woo. The Chew Woo Church. Chew Words. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a journey of your last words. words. Yep. No, no, I, wait, I'm gonna put that in quotes. Actually, I'm, I don't even need to. Put it in that one. Da -da 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 Where the fuck is it? I dropped a five-pound dumbbell on my toe when I was nine. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. What the fuck do you want, cat? <laughs> Festus. Be your last words, Adrena. Um, okay, so... I'm still not gonna do the, uh, my typical one, cause... Uh, wait, are you still having, dealing with a bot issue? No. You're not? No. So they're not... Okay, nice. Yeah, botting is all <clears throat> over. Got rid of the bot that had already helped him. Uh, you but is not the case mm -hmm. at least okay. unless there's like four bots in, in chat doubtful no but no 
so I'd say hmm. yeah. So um, I guess I'll I guess I can say it then. Yeah. Follow, subscribe. Right is a cat bird. Oh god damn it. That shit last words go. Give me a minute. I'm copying a porn Newgrounds link. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bookworm. Do the commence the bonking? Yep, the bunk. I Bunk. will not apologize for being who I am. Have you noticed that the Halo but you shall... announcer? Have but you, you shall noticed... get bunked for it. I see. Have you noticed <laughs> that the Halo announcer voice sounds suspiciously like the voice that says EA Sports? It's in the game. It's oh my the same God. person. No, no I, it's not. I, it it's is not. not. Oh. I highly doubt it. Completely different companies. Anyway, was it my turn to speak? Yes. Okay. And remember, kids, if you don't do your homework, I'm gonna shoot a dog. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look for more bongs towards Hatchet. I was not horny. I was simply giving an ultimatum. Be a mm -hmm. good student, right. or I will cause grievous bodily harm upon an innocent animal. <laughs> I am deranged. <laughs> yes, you <Lord> are. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Aderna, you choose our words we use for writing, because Hatchet did one stream... Bokram did one stream. <laughs> Bokram, damn, are you a PETA agent now? No oh, comment. <laughs> oh my god. I will simply <laughs> say I do not like Tommy Tellerico. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, Adara, once you come up with your words, we I'll hit the raid button. Wait, what? What's you're you're choosing the raid words. Oh, raid word? Oh, okay. Yeah. Who are we raiding, Miss Lacuna? Uh, no, a person I've collabed with, uh, Juice Beat. Oh, okay. Because they have the lowest uh -huh. view count at the moment. Okay, so one sec. Um, what's the... What the... Guys, what? Yeah, fuck, bookworm beat me to it. Damn it. <laughs> bookworm can type you fa type faster than you. Bookworm can <laughs> type you faster than you. <laughs> Shut up. So, so bookworm's using hatchet as a cudgel to type. Oh my gosh, I'm just imagining Bookworm picking up Hatchet and just slamming him on the computer to type. Bookworm better be hitting the gym. I weigh 400 pounds. <laughs> Bookworm is now the new Superman. <laughs> you better not have skipped arm day. We take key smash to a new what? level. <laughs> we turn a key smash into a me smash. Oh, oh my okay. god. Be... Well, Hatch, to be fair, he could he could do it with his feet. <laughs> what? I was, gonna, I was saying he, he could do it with his feet if he skips arm day. Oh, yeah. Just... <laughs> Foot fetish. <laughs> Foot what fetish. Anyways, Adara, what's the raid words? 
Um, my name is Neil Armstrong, and I approve foot fetishes in the NBA. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Three complete nonsense <laughs> together. Yeah. Clip that. A derb, it seems it was the last words. Okay, so... The last words... Are the rating words. Yeah, yeah the rating, rating words. words. Okay. Put... Um, ha Halo announcer voice. And then... Hmm... Okay. Trans rights. There we go. Just use trans rights. I don't know. Uh, oh, just say trans also, rights? No, maybe not. Eh. No, maybe not. No. Yeah, oh, not to voice. And why? What's it? What's it? I don't know. What's the game? Oh yeah, what's the game you played? Case three, the cannibal. Mm. Uh, I think it was like case three, cannibal boy. Through cannibal boy. Through cannibal boy. Case yeah. zero three. <laughs> Halo announcer boy says cannibals. <laughs> 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 yeah, may, yeah, just yeah, put cannibalists. <laughs> just cannibals. <laughs> yeah, cannibals. I said I put down Halo announcer voice says cannibals. Oh my god! It's a better way to do a book. I do it next Yeah. Anyways, we ready? Halo announcer voice, cannibals. <laughs> I'll assume everyone's ready then. Yeah. My mom asked me, my mom told me to ask your mom if you would like to have a sleepover. Oh my god. Alright. Did you know that someday the universe will run out of heat energy, leading to the heat death of the universe? Anyways, rating in three, two, one. Fetuses. <laughs> <laughs>